What it is, what it do, ZWC Cruise, your boys, Daddy Chunk Chunk, and we are back again with another banger for you guys today. What kind of banger is this? Up. Bang! Today, ZCC family, we are doing sushi, and I want to tell everybody out in the YouTube land, happy Labor Day weekend. Well, not weekend, happy Labor Day. Today is actually Labor Day. Uh, I've been kicking it all Labor Day weekend. I was going to say happy Memorial Day for a second, but happy Labor Day, and uh, I'm really excited today. I'm in a great great mood you guys i got so much done over the weekend been hanging out things of that sort we'll talk about it but first let's get a, a prayer father god i want to thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body and god i ask that you do please bless this food in jesus name we pray amen <sighs> let's eat i had to get something light today i decided to get a sushi burrito even though this is busting out the seams busting out the band on i don't even know what to go for mm-hmm This is gonna be a messy one, I can tell. But I had to get some light today. Why? Literally got invited to uh, three different barbecues today. That's definitely garbage. Got invited to three different barbecues today, and one of them uh, texted me. He's like, "Hey, make sure you're hungry. We're cooking a lot of food. And I don't want to disappoint. That's not till later on today, hell. But man." I'm gonna have to eat one piece of chicken from everybody barbecue. <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm really excited, man. I feel like today it's gonna be a fun day. It's gonna be packed. I woke up, I did something that I usually, oh, whoa, I did not mean to go that crazy. I did something I, I usually never do. I turned on music in my living room, was jamming out this morning. If you know me, you guys know I am a room body. Only time I'm in my living room is for guests. <laughs> But, I believe the reason why I was so geeked up being in my living room today, this morning, was because, well, last night, I called in that early, came inside to deep clean, and then also, um, I finally got my place set up, like, finally, still not fully set up. Actually, let me say, now I think about it, I did do a lot. I ordered so much furniture over the weekend. Um, I bought bar stools. They're coming in. Finally getting some bar stools. Uh, I bought a, a shoe rack that's going to be mounted for the entrance. I bought this seat, this seat thing that's going to be mounted to my wall, where it's like it folds up. And it looks like a like a locker, but it can come down. It's a place for you to sit down and put your shoe on by the front entrance. It's nice. And then uh, what else did I buy? I bought an entryway table for my hallway. And then uh, I bought wall sconce. Yes, your boy's fancy. <laughs> bought some wall sconce. And then uh, what else did I buy? Little stuff that's not furniture, like magic erasers and stuff to keep things clean and stuff of that sort. But I feel like I bought another furniture piece. That, that, oh, and then just like some nightlight for the bathroom because when I use the bathroom, uh, at, like in the middle of the night or in the morning, I don't like turning on the light. <laughs> mm. Mm hmm. So, what I did this weekend 
I finally got so much stuff. Um, so my, my homie, one of my homies, uh, he's a uh, he's a contractor, and um, he hangs up. Uh, he does like contracting work for houses. Been doing this stuff for years. I'm like, I'd rather spend my money with you than some random. I was going. My original plan was going to go to like one of them Angie Lists or uh, Handyman or whatever. But bro, I was like, oh yeah, do this. I'm like, bro, I'll pay you to to do this work for me. He's like, that I got you. You obviously plugged me out. But um, I hung up. Finally, had my cameras hung up. Hung up six cameras in my house, which honestly, in my doorbell camera. I'm so glad I finally did it. It took so long to do it. Well, like I said, my first place, I love the place. It was a beautiful home, but I think it was just too big and I never really made it homey. Like I never like, I never just got it decorated, stuff of that sort. So I did have my cameras up, but not all of them. I think I only put three cameras up. I had all the outside perimeter covered, doorbell camera. And then the inside, like I had one on my first floor, my second floor. I even have one of my third floors, to be honest. So, yeah, I never really uh, got that place fully decorated. But now, with everything I'm doing now, I'm regretting and wishing. I wish I would have done that for my last spot because I am tight on space. Literally, my studio, which sucks, is Studio slash storage room slash pantry slash guest bedroom. Like, I got so much stuff in here. It's ridiculous. And honestly, I really wish I would have got a three bedroom, but I know um, if I did, let me grab this. Well, not if I did. This place doesn't have three bedrooms. And when I first toured this place, they. They gave me a deal that was literally impossible to pass up. There's no other apartment in Las Vegas in the state of Nevada that offered what they were willing to give me. And you guys know I do my research heavy. And um, yeah, I, there's so, I would've went, I think this was my second tour, my third tour. Very, mind you, I did a whole bunch of research just with uh, websites and stuff of that sort of looking and looking at apartments.com, YouTubes and, um, realtor.com all the the home housing apps and stuff of that sort but um i only did two to three tours and this place what they're offering was unbeatable but i knew i wasn't gonna get that anywhere else so i chose this place but if this place didn't have this certain feature i'm talking about i'm not, I'm not gonna say it because it's very unique to this spot but if this if this place didn't have this certain feature i definitely probably wouldn't have moved here but hey i'm glad i did because obviously you see how many friends i made and things of that sort and how close this community is but i definitely would have got me a three bedroom 1,000% would have got me a three bedroom. Oh. And another big factor, this location. The location was big for me. I wanted to stay here in this location. But, yes, yeah, so, folks, so, the reason I was hanging out in my living room, I got my TV soundbar set up too. Uh, my TV, uh, I got my soundbar plus a bass speaker, I got that all set up. Movies sound incredible here. Definitely movie nights in my spot. It is literally incredible. Uh, the music, literally incredible. Like bass boom and everything. Like, and I, and I opened up my windows and I went to test to see how loud I can have my stuff. I put that music, I put the music on 20, on level 20 and I think it goes up to, I don't know how high it goes up actually. I'm, so I don't know what it goes to, but I know it's level 20, which is early on. I leave my house, shut the door, I'm hearing it in the house. I'm hearing it in the hallway. Okay, well let me go outside by where like people could walk through and I'm listening and you can hear it close by the entrance to the first apartment building. I'm like, this is loud. And the reason why I'm trying to figure out the loud levels of where I could be at so I can be respectful of the neighbors and stuff of that sort. Uh, and I even texted my, my homie, I'm like, hey, I'm about to play some music. Uh, let me know if you hear something. He told me he wasn't home, so I wish he was so I could know. But I'm going to do that when he gets back to 
I want to try a different level, see what he hears and stuff. But it's definitely loud. Oh, um, I don't hear noise from people low here in these apartments. The only thing I hear is footsteps, and that's like my homie above me. But she doesn't. He doesn't. Put, he doesn't do it often. But um, and plus they work a lot. But other than that, I don't ever hear voices or loud music or anything that's anything of that sort here. But, what else I got hung up? Oh, I got my TV hung up in my guest bedroom. We're gonna have to remount them though. I mean, we, I'm gonna buy a new mount because at the back of my TV I have a small hump and this universal mount didn't work with this TV. And honestly, I had this TV since I was living in Ohio and I love this TV. And I told myself I'll never give it up, but I think this TV's kind of getting outdated. And I need to get, not kind of, it's outdated. I need to get a TV, but I did love this TV. I don't know why I love this TV so much, but I did love it. But it's time for me to retire it. I think that, because that little hump that it has in the back, and it's very small, but it's, some, it's an outdated hump. And I was like, this, this is right. This universal mop didn't work with this. But um, I'm gonna buy a different mount, mount it for now. But yeah, definitely gonna be getting rid of that TV soon. I'm looking it off because I'm looking at the TV, sorry y'all. <laughs> but um, TV mounting, cameras mounted, sound bar and bass mounted. Oh, and I got my smart display mounted. Did I say that? My smart, my smart display, I got, end up getting mounted in my bedroom, uh, which I'm gonna be able to control. I saw this unique feature. I have some control the smart home, the whole house with it and everything, but like the feature that's, that I'm like really excited about the most, well, it doesn't do this, but I know like how to code it to do it, but it's not a natural thing. But my Echo Show 15, they, uh, I can have it where all the cameras show up like, I mean, not yet, all the cameras show up like as if it's a CCTV, like you're, as if, I don't know, let's say you're working at Walmart, you're in the camera room, you're security. You can, and everything stays up 24 seven, you know what it is. You guys know what I'm talking about, screen with all the cameras up 24 seven. There's a code coding you could do the Echo Show 15 to make that happen so it could be like that. Obviously, and, and you know some people, and I get this question a lot, cause I got six cameras hung up in a two bedroom house and plus a doorbell. Are you like scared of something though? No. I'm like, no, well, first of all, I just love security. I mean, I'm heavy into security. Well, that's one thing about me. And the second, I just love technology. I love the fact that, hey, I could see my house at any time. I don't know, I just love technology and, I, and, I, and, I'm, bit, and I'm heavy on security. That's really the two reasons why. I wouldn't say, hey. I'm paranoid and think something's gonna happen because I don't. But also, I'm not um, blind or uh, oblivious to the fact that something can happen. You know what I mean? One of those have it and not need it, and have it and not need it, and need it and not have it situations but um honestly another great reason for it is content like if something gets recorded let's say my man i wish i was recording that i can just bring up the footage and download it <laughs> if, if there's something that needs to be shown you know but um oh also i got a whole bunch of mirrors hung up i took down one of their like Tile racks. Honestly, I DUI the heck out of this place. I did a lot of stuff to this place. I even got cameras on the outside uh, on my balcony. 
nobody else did that. I uh, put TV, I did a corner TV thing. Everybody loves my idea of the corner TV. No one else done that. Uh, yeah, I took a whole bunch of their towel racks, put my mirrors up and stuff. Cause one of my, 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 my primary bathroom, it has like one, two, it has three towel racks. I'm like, what do I need three towel racks for? So I took one down to put my huge, uh, full body mirror up. Then I put some mirrors up in my, uh, another mirror up in my bedroom. So I got a lot of stuff set up. And doing that, my house was a complete disaster. I had a great time this Labor Day weekend, but Friday and Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, or Saturday and Sunday, I don't know which one is what, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Saturday or Sunday, um, I hated being in my house. Why? Because <laughs> he was working on stuff Saturday and Sunday, so it must not have been Friday. I don't know. But I know for sure Saturday and Sunday he was working in my house, and um, my house was atrocious. Like, this is the worst my house has been. It looked like my move-in day. And I recorded, I started recording for my vlog, like, he came. And I started showing, like, hey, yeah, I'm about to get all this stuff hung up. And I meant to record the the mess. I never did because I was just so busy with just running back and forth, hanging out, doing things like that. So I never did record it. But the house is atrocious. So yesterday I had to call it out early. Then yesterday I came inside because we're all by the pool grilling and stuff. Yesterday I came inside around 8, 9. And I was cleaning to like 12 a.m. I had to get this house together because I'm like Labor Day week is tomorrow and I know tomorrow which is today I know today's about to be popping I know people are gonna be kicking I know people are there's people already outside at the pool I just feel it I just have a I, and then plus I got invited like I said three barbecues I'm saying well I wonder why you have that feeling there's three barbecues going on but obviously not just with the three barbecues I'm going uh, that I got invited to but I'm sure there's gonna be other people grilling too I feel like there's I feel like every barbecue every girl's gonna be packed so people need to get there early there's already one people who's who got a cabana right now at, at our pool um so I'm like tomorrow's gonna be popping I know people are gonna want to take shots stuff of that sort I got my bar fully stocked here you come to my spot take shots I'm play some music you know going back and forth you guys know I'm right by the pool going back and forth to the pool and stuff of that sort so it's about to be a vibe and um but yeah, so I had to get my house super clean because I know like I'm probably gonna be having people in and out this house today. Mm. So I stayed at 12 a.m. cleaning. So that's probably why I woke up so happy. Had a clean spot, everything mounted, and uh and I know the vibes about to vibe today. But I had to get a video out for you guys. So that's the reason why I came to the sushi because hey. I didn't want to uh, get something heavy on my stomach because I know I'll be eating a lot. But I went to a Soho for this one. And I went to uh, a grocery store for this. Bro, tell me why. So I'm at the grocery store, right? And um, I don't know what buddy was on. I'm not I'm not kidding. I go, this is after I, sh I shop. I buy my stuff. I'm about to leave. Buddy comes in, walks in, and he does this. I'm not, I'm not lying. Not, he didn't, he didn't like hawk it up, but he on his hand, right? And then he's just walking with his hand like this. And I'm like, what is he about to do? And he's like passing, he's like, he's trying to shake my hand. I'm like, but he wasn't, he looked at me for a little bit, but then he kept on walking. And I'm like, what is this man about to do? I stared at this man for at least a minute and 30 seconds. That, and to me, that's a long time. Because of the fact that uh, a minute and 30 seconds staring at somebody that you don't know, that's weird to me. So I was like, but I just had to see what, what was this man's hand. Why did you do that? Like, like I didn't, he didn't hug it up, but, and then hold his hand like this, like as if he was going to want to shake somebody's hand or do a prank on somebody. He walked in and, and he just kept his hand like that and kept walking. And it was like, I was staring at him for about a minute. He didn't touch nothing. I was like, you know what? I'm staring too much. Let me just go ahead and go about my business. I ended up leaving. So I can knock out this video, but I don't know what buddy was on. <laughs> That's how the vid started. He about to, I, hope, I know, because I know he's going to touch something, like a cart or something. I don't know what he was on. But I hope you guys are having a ball today, man. Turn up, take a shot for me. Uh, Labor Day weekend. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just in a great mood, man. I'm happy. Happy-go-lucky. 
and I, I know I just have a, I have a feeling today is going to be a great, great day. And then also, I can't wait till all these things come out. Listen, I'm close to giving y'all so many different tours. First of all, I got a, a dinner to do. Uh -huh. Halfway furnished house tour, then a fully furnished house tour, then a tech a tech house tour of what's all my tech. <laughs> Should I do a, a a firearm house tour? Show you where <laughs> every place I keep my firearm? But nah, I'll obviously be giving away. But nah, nah <clears throat> not really. A lot of gun channels be doing it too. I'll be thinking, are you compromising your 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 secret locations? But this is what they do for a living, so obviously, and they probably switch it up every so often too. But I got so many tours to give y'all. I can't wait till my other furniture come in. The only thing really I got left, I need to buy a storage, a storage pantry. Not a storage pantry, a food pantry. I need to buy one of those in here because I bought so many groceries and I just have like a whole bunch of beverages just sitting in my, uh, on the floor here in their cases and stuff of that sort. But I'm like, I need to put these like in a pantry or something. I need to buy a pantry. And I gotta get garbage cans. I still don't have a garbage can. 